Hi guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am back with another layout for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And so this week I am playing with the new Maggie Holmes Carousel Collection. And I absolutely love the, the colors and the style and the feel of this collection. So I'm really excited to, to work with it today. So I'm going to take my photo, which is just a 4x6, so I haven't done anything special there. And I'm going to mat it with some black cardstock. And this particular pattern paper that I want to use has this green um, kind of zigzag with the uh, white diamonds. And they have a little bit of a pink border with some black polka dots. So that's kind of where these color combinations came from. And then I grabbed this pink and white striped. And that's going to be my very, like the background, the back layer of my background paper. And this is just from a paper pad that I had. I believe it's a Jen Hatfield paper. And so I took that with my sewing machine, which is how I'm going to get artsy this week because that's kind of our theme. Um, and I took my sewing machine with some black thread and added some stitching all the way around that layout. So I just did a straight stitch and then I also did a zigzag stitch in a few random places. And then I took this green pattern paper and backed that with a thin border of black cardstock. And I'm just going to put it kind of off at a diagonal edge on my page. And this is something that you guys have seen me do a lot lately. I'm really enjoying this kind of creating these harsh angles on my layout. So I'm going to go ahead and take these sticky note page flags that came from that Maggie Holmes carousel collection. And I'm just taking a bunch of different ones, all different shapes and colors and sizes. And I'm going to tuck them all into the edge over on that right hand side. And so this is kind of creating the, the bold focus element over on that side of this layout. And then I'm going to take it back to my sewing machine once I have them all on there. And I'm going to stitch through the very edge of those next to the cardstock. Just to make sure that everything stays down and to also reinforce that kind of stitching theme and feel that I have on the rest of the layout. And so you can kind of see where that is and you'll see it better in the close-ups at the end. Um, so then I'm taking, I know that I want these little tags. Um, I want just the tops of them. Um, and these are from the big 12 by 12 ticket sheet. And I want just the tops of those to be where the beginning of my title is going to rest. And so I'm just kind of playing around with where those are going to go. And I know I want my title to be a new chapter. And so I grabbed these um, kind of puffy sticker letters, and these are an older one that I've had for a while from Studio Calico. And I did end up layering a little piece of ephemera from the ephemera pack that is that green and pink floral tag in behind my layers. And then I'm just playing with some embellishments that I want to cluster underneath my photo down here on the left. So I have a little sticker banner, and then I have this pink little piece of ephemera. And then I'm going to grab one of my adhesive foam dots and put it on this heart that says filled with joy. And so I'm just kind of finishing up what I want that little embellishment area to look like. I do know that I'm going to go back and add some sequins over there. I have already put my sequins up around my title as well as throughout those page um, tabs and banners along the side. So I kind of tucked all of those little sequins into the different layers. And I am using three different sets from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store. One of them is Black Tie Event, which has shown up on almost all of my layouts lately, which gives me the black and white. And then I am also using Morning Glow, which is kind of the pink, peach, and cream colored pack. And then I'm using one of the mini sequin packs that is these gold, kind of shiny gold. They're supposed to be snowflakes, but... They kind of have a vintage -y feel to them, so I'm using them on this layout more for towards that vintage feel than I am as snowflakes, and I really think it kind of goes really well with this Maggie Holmes collection. So definitely pick some of those up if you are working with this carousel collection. I am going to take this sticker and put it down on that bottom right-hand corner of my uh, photo that says Dreams Are For Chasing, and I'm kind of looking at what I might want to tuck in behind that sticker. Um, and so you'll see me kind of play with a few different options, and I end up grabbing um, a little yellow. There's a little yellow puffy sticker on the sticker sheet that says Think Happy. And there you see I'm just kind of going through looking for different puffy stickers, and I find this one. This is Maggie Holmes, but it's not from this collection. It's from Chasing Dreams. 
Um, but the yellow works perfectly, and so we're going to stick that under there. And I do end up going back off camera and grabbing the rest of that pink tag that I cut to go underneath my photo on the left. And I am going to tuck that in underneath, so you will see that in the final photos that I do have a little piece of pink. And I don't think you see me do that on the video. You might. Um, I am going to grab a couple more sequins and put them down here with this bottom cluster. And then I'm going to include just a little bit of journaling on that pink tag over on the left. Um, so this is just a picture of my daughter. And this is on her first day moving up to what they call the prep school or the prep side at our school. Um, which is kind of like middle school or junior high. And so this is her first experience with having a locker. And so that's kind of what this page is talking about. I am stamping just the date down in that bottom right hand corner with some black ink. And then I'm going to go up to the top over my tag and I'm going to stamp a phrase and I'm using a, a Kate Spade roller stamp and it just says start something new. And then I'm going to go ahead and add just the year down here on the bottom as well as my little journaling and that's going to do it for this layout. You will see in the close ups that extra little pink um, border down underneath my photo and you can also see kind of where I added in some of the sequins to all those different layers. And I really like using those as kind of a pop of interest in all of my pattern paper layers. And so I really hope you enjoyed this layout, and I will see you again soon. Bye!